Hey guys, so I went to a hackers competition recently, which, which I felt was super interesting and really educational. You learned so much there. So one of the things I felt that you guys should be able to do on your own is configure networking devices and environments via the files and not the graphical user interface. So today I'm going to go over the different networking files on a Linux system. And this is pretty universal across many distributions of Linux, I think, for except one little thing. And so go ahead and follow these instructions. And I'll show you how to control which aspects of networking and which files, and how easy it is to edit and configure these to be uh, customized for your environment, either at home or at work. So just keep watching. The first file we're going to take a look at is etc hostname. This file contains the hostname of the local system you're logged into. If you wish to change your hostname, go ahead and edit this file, change the hostname, and restart your system. The file etc host is a local IP address hostname resolution file. It allows you to define the IP address, a very specific host that you might feel is important to have locally and not rely on DNS to provide that name resolution. The file etcresolve.conf is where you define your domain name servers as well as your domain name. So define your domain name servers will allow you to be able to translate a host name to an IP address, which is important when you're either trying to connect to either a website or SSH into a server. Here I crossed out my name servers, but you would enter in whatever machine that is running bind for, or a Windows machine that's running name services to define your hostname IP address resolution on network systems. The file etc network interfaces is where you would define configurations for your network card. To edit your network configuration, we have to use super user access, so we'll do sudvi etc network interfaces and we're going to add configuration for our ethernet 0 which is our ethernet card so we're going to give an ip address net mask and gateway and set it to a static ip thanks for watching guys i hope this was helpful if you have any questions or comments leave them below otherwise i'll see you guys next time